So we finally have native Steam support on Android. You can sign in, browse your games and simply install and play like you would on your PC. So first of all, open your browser and search Game Hub and open the first website. Make sure to download it only from here. Now type on Android download and proceed to download the file. Once done, open the apk file and install it. Now open the app, accept the user agreements first and again select the terms and conditions and choose the email option to sign in as this sign in method only requires your email id and nothing else. Now verify your email with the code then we need to select an avatar and username. It will prompt to allow notifications permissions but you can simply ignore it for now. So this is the game hub's home screen. Tap on my option and you will see various ways to play games. Choose Steam. Then tap on it again to open the sign-in page. Now you can either use your email and password or use an authenticator device to sign in. Once done, you will see your account information and even the account's word in Japanese yen for some reason. All your Steam library games will be present here. So I have a MediaTek 7400 Ultra device here and I was facing issue while launching the games after installation. So what I did was go to the game details, then select the game settings, then Steam and toggle the client version to lightweight. You can also change your resolution from the general settings for better performance. And after that, the game did load up, however the Steam cloud saves won't work this way. But this issue isn't with everyone and high-end processors like the Snapdragon 8 series and the MediaTek 8000 and 9000 processor should be supported. And while gaming, you will see the on-screen controls which can be hidden by swapping from right and disable touch controls. You can also tweak frame rates and display options and FPS meter settings. Now to connect your controller, tap on the controller icon, then tap on plus, select your controller name from the list, it's Xbox controller for me. Now we need to give some permissions to make sure it recognizes the device. Now turn on your controller and tap on manual connection. It will open your Bluetooth settings. Here tap on controller name and it will connect to it instantly. Now the app will show your game controller. So I'm playing 2 meter 1 and I'm getting 20 to 30 FPS. I've set the resolution to the lowest. And it's pretty incredible that a game is playable on this mid-range MediaTek device. I actually tried other lightweight games as well, like the Resident Evil 3 and 4 demo versions, the Metro Last Light, Injustice, but they didn't launch as my processor isn't powerful and 12GB RAM is actually the recommended for the best experience possible. However, after many lightweight games, one game called The Killing Antidote did work out and was playable on lowest settings. So if you have a device similar to mine, then you can play older lightweight titles and some demo games. At the end, it will all depend on your hardware specifications, but mostly it will be complete trial and error process. So that was how you can install and play Steam natively on your Android smartphone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.